Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agartala. Today, we are going to look at the solution of question, question number 81807-C, which is the question number C of Code Forces Round 859 Division 4, which is held on 19th March 2023. Here's what the question is. The question says that you are given a string S, which consist of all lowercase characters and then you have to apply an operation you have to apply operation in the string such that all the characters in the string is converted to either 0 or 1 now after applying the operation you have to see that whether the converted string is binary string or not now what is a binary string a binary string is a string which consists of zeros and ones and should have alternate zeros and ones that is there should not be anything like 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 0 0 or 0 1 1 1 it has, has to be the zeros and one has to be alternate it like this it should not be like this so what is our approach what we are what are we going to do let me explain with an help of an example let we are taking a string a b b c c b a d d now we can start by replacing this first a with zero or this first a with one so here are the two cases either if we replace the first a with zero then we have to replace all the a in the string with zero that is zero b b c c b a a is converted to zero and this is d this is d or we have another choice of converting a into 1 that is 1 b b c c b 1 d and d now after after doing now after doing this step we are going to iterate over these two strings separately how we, we are going to start a loop from here which will proceed till here and then we will check the each and every string in boxes of these two like we have seen we will check like zero like zero index and one index then one index and two index and so on so so what we are going to do is that while the pointer is here we will check just before the pointer the character just before the the pointer is zero or one if the pointer if the just if the character just before the pointer is one then we are going to replace the this pointer as zero or if the character just before the pointer is zero then we are going to replace this character with one and so on so from this string what we get is that if we replace if we replace the b with zero then it will be one zero zero c c zero one d d now remember while apply or like, while applying like while iterating over this whole string we will do, what we will do is that we will first check the pointer is in a is in an alphabet or not we will make a separate uh, if statement and then we will iterate and and from this i'm sorry and and from this statement and from and from this statement we will convert the b's into one that is the strings become there is the string become 0 1 1 c c 1 0 d and d and then we will again shift to this part because the pointer will be here and c is a, is a character and this c is a character then again we will check the character just before c and then if this is 1 then we will convert c into 0 or if or if the just before the pointer or, or if the just if the character just before the c is 0 then we will convert c into 1 that is from here we will get 0 1 1 c 0 0 and so on and then we will check whether this string consists of any alternate 1 or not uh, any alternate 1 1 or 0 0 or not if this string contains any alternate 1 1 or 0 0 then it will return 1 or else it will return 0 now let's have a look at the code so here is the code now what the code says is that the test case we took an input 
input of input of the string st now we made two like two variables of st why because we have one condition of ch changing a into either 0 or either 1 so with the help of s we converted the first the first character into 1 and with the and with the help of st we converted the first character into 0 and then we pass this whole string into a function called checker okay so what this function does is that after after getting this string from the from the main function from the main body of the loop it, it will check whether the pointer is a is a alphabet or not now if the pointer is an alphabet it will enter into this, this loop and check whether the character just before uh, the uh, pointer is one if it is one then it it, it, will, it will replace that the occurrences of all that characters into zero or if it is zero then it will change the occurrences of all that characters of all the particular pointers as one now after executing this one it will it will jump to this for statement now in this for statement it is just checking that if if there if it find anywhere that are corresponding zero or corresponding ones then it will return zero then then it will return one into the main function else it will return zero and then it is stored into a variable called c1 which is initialized as zero similarly for this part also this st is passed into checker then from this st the same thing is happened and then again the, the checking of st is the, took place and then it is returned to a variable named c2 now now remember if it find corresponding zeros or corresponding one then the function will return one we, we are doing this one only that if the function returns now if this now if the function returns one then it is no there is it is not a binary character uh, binary string or if the function returns zero then it is a binary string so this is this is so this is the source code it is extremely simple and ex like yeah it looks huge but it's really simple so i hope i could make it clear that's all from from my side thank you have a nice day